Help me buy milk. Okay. I, yeah, okay. Write down your name. I'm going to go with Canned. Let me turn the volume up just a little. I don't know how loud it should be. Actually, yeah, that's good, that's good. I walk down the road to the store and I rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Shut up and go already. Uh, sure. I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? I, I could see where that would help. I used to do that when I was a kid. What game? Well, you know. There are games where you can see the character's thoughts right on the screen, you know? So I thought if someone is reading my mind, I need to be very focused so I don't blurt out too much. I, I, that, I always thought that was just like an ADHD thing that I had, but I take a deep breath of air. Hello. Can I? Crap, I forgot. 19th attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. How long has it been since this person's left the house? Oh my god. So once again. Hello. Can I get... Wow. That's a whole word more. <laughs> Good job. That's better than nothing. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying. I think this time I'll... This time... Oh god. I think this time I'll sound the best. What the fuck am I trying to say? I cannot read. I think this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? It's just like a social anxiety thing because like I can see the parallels there. Ugh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Haha, <laughs> loser, don't worry. Um let's go with don't worry. Okay. We don't need to we don't need to be negative, right? By the way, you've been you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that if you don't. Is this a, is this ADHD, uh, social anxiety, OCD? <laughs> My right foot is frozen in the air. How, how much? 50 steps on the pavement and 50 steps in the grass. Oh, okay, I see. You have to undo the previous steps. Oh my god, this felt so bad when, when I was a kid. Like, and I, I had this thing where I had to have an even amount of steps in, like, a, a, a certain form, like, a perfectly formed line wherever I was going. And then, in like, to undo those steps, I would do this weird spin around thing. I don't know. It was just really weird. Uh, and I'm glad I kind of got over that sort of obsessive monitoring of my own body language. <laughs> That's probably not how it was supposed to sound. How do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. You're so stupid. Uh... I don't know anything about this person. Um... Sure. I, I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ugh, here we go again. Is this like their inner thoughts? Step one, take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Oh wow, this is like advanced bugging. Wait a minute, what do you mean step one? What then? Or, yeah. But it's already the 52nd. Or wait, I'm going backwards, so... Then it's the 50th. It doesn't add up. Okay, okay, step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly on your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? <laughs> what is this about? You can't just repeat the phrase without changing at least one word. People don't like, or people don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so you'll be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. 
This must be the inner thoughts of uh, this character here. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes. It, what's, where's this enthusiasm coming from? I carefully move my foot backwards, looking carefully into the dense grass. What is this? It's kind of hard to look at. As I enter the store, oh, okay, never mind. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I? Uh. Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Or zero. Could be either. Excuse me, what? Is it like a more capitalized O? <laughs> Excuse me, what? I feel like the text is getting bigger. Am I, am I? Is that right? Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. You shouldn't have done that. What did I do? He's obviously not going to change his lens. Change his lines. You run the risk of ending up on this in an endless loop. I mean, yeah, I feel like I wouldn't have even gone that far, to be honest. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. I'm just I'm just gonna click through the rest of these. Oh, the text is getting bigger. It had to be that obvious before I actually realized. Excuse me, what? Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> what is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me. How does he know that I'm ter terrified by the letter O? <laughs> That's a good question. What's so scary about it, though? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you. Explaining won't be enough, but keep in mind that it'll... I see now. Yes. No, I understand. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that actually made, like, the hairs on my arm stand up, because <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. Something like that. So I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh. What? Oh my god. <laughs> what? I gather all my will into a fist. Oh, you're gonna punch him? You're gonna give this guy a knuckle sandwich? Because he owed it you too many times? My inner... My... my inner locutor shook... Interlocutor? I've never seen that word before. Shook and crawled away. Interlocutor. And I'm just gonna sit here and try to figure that word out. I guess it's like a cross between the word executor and interlock, but... I don't, I've never seen that word before. <laughs> he just repeated it after him. And it worked. Do it more often. Wait! I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean... I didn't even look in the direction. In his direction. What exactly did you say? Why? When exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words are shown on the screen. Oh, this is a fourth wall break. I see. I'm standing by the shelves. On the rack, uh, there are bags of milk. Are we in Canada? We both stand and the milk lies. Or maybe. Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you're here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here. Right here? Sorry, question mark. What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like not here. Not here. Take the bag and go to the cash register. You're getting on my nerves. Uh, I'm gonna go with this top one. Yeah. I guess the first sentence. Uh, and you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You want to rob me of my little victories. I sigh and reach out and take out, take, reach out to take the milk, or rather, the bag with the milk inside, or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. How does it, how does it work in Canada, dude? Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. 
Come on, come on. <laughs> 15 minutes before the store closes, hurry up. I remembered what these games are called. Visual novels. And by the... And by the way, the numbers are written there in full. With letters... Oh, Jesus. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full. With letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But they're... But they're the authors are not lazy. So, don't get lazy either. I... Yeah. <laughs> sure. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. I'm starting to get worse at reading out loud, so forgive me. Not anymore. So watch your mouth, hee hee. Hee hee! I can't snicker very well, my voice is kind of shot. Anyway, you heard me. Hurry up, or you'll get it at... Pfft. Hurry up, or you'll get it at home again. Yeah, mom's gonna go make you make you go pick out your own switch. I'm on my, I'm on my way. Hello, C can I g get some milk, please? Oh, is this how this person sees everything? Because, oh my god. Hello. With every- Every time somebody- Or some new interaction happens, there's like an- As you could see, eyes and like kind of a mouth. You have it. Uh, give. I put a weighty bag on the register, of course. Not just the bag, but the milk too. Come on. Hi, can I... can I have it, please? No, you gotta pay for that first, of course. Please. No, but please. Mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. Would she really do that? Oh my god. No. But why not? Give more. <clears throat> Choked on spit. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you. You are pathetic. Pay for the milk. That's what I said. Pay for the milk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> really? What would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. It took about two days before he nodded and cont <laughs> contentedly and put it in the cash register. I mean, it took you about two days to realize you had to pay for it. Thank you, goodbye. Is this, I can't tell, is this my house or is this the gas station? Or the convenience store? I walk down a familiar street past the gas, okay, never mind. I just had to read the words on the fucking screen. <laughs> a bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my, my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they give me a bag at the at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it. I just love the pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. That's fair. I can I can understand that. I wonder if that points to another mental uh, situation or something. I don't know. I don't really know how to word that without making it sound negative. So, <laughs> but that's not my intention. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile-long bar of ice cream. What? What? <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start saying that to people just to see what the reaction is. What is that supposed to mean? As if I'd tell you. But I'm really interested. You're just a weirdo. I actually do really want to know what they mean. <laughs> Well, look, the ratio of water to milk and the volume of air occupied me by, oh god, is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best, unless you want to drink m more than eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the road from the gas station to come home is the ice cream. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Simple math. Uh, I still don't really see the math in it, but that's just me. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt, grains, petrol stains. I'm trying to keep up my balance and how do people move over something as uneven as the city plane. Is she... Or is this person intentionally rhyming? They got bars. Gently, heel, toe. I count in my mind every meter on the path I, I walk. Even close my eyes for more concentration. 
I've tried to walk like on a sidewalk with my eyes closed just to see like how far I could get before I either stepped off or stepped onto the grass to the other side. But then I was like, hey, this is going to get you killed, man. <laughs> so I didn't, I never really make it that far. Hey, watch out. Ah, I unconsciously take a sharp step onto the side. Sorry, to the side as at the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. Hey, I'm walking here. I cast, I cast, I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes in turn look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. It was a truck. So it wasn't a bear, it was a truck. I mean, she is walking on the road after all, so with her eyes closed. I don't know why she'd think it was a bear. Maybe we'll find out. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, there are bears with eyes on the back of their head. Wait. Are there bears with eyes on the back of their heads? Oh, she's talking about the tail lights. I don't know why I'm saying she. I don't actually know what this person looks like. I assume it's the one on the cover art. You could have died. Come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? <laughs> Oh boy, let me let me tell you something. The world is a cruel and dangerous place. I'm not in the world you're talking about. Then what? Hello? Is this a person? My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like I'm when I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. I feel like that's not good. Neither of those things are necessarily good. <laughs> right now I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? Hmm. Sure, I don't know, I don't... I feel like there's like an obvious path that wants me to take here, but... This kind of... I don't know. We'll see. That's not what the manual said at all. The manual. Apparently these pills don't work for me either. Pills have nothing to do with it. I wouldn't know that. But maybe maybe the dialogue uh, the person whose dialogue we're choosing here is uh, is correct. So we'll go with that. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful to you, but please, no more. You have to accept the truth. No, you have to accept the truth. No, you have to accept the truth. No. Oh. Is this our main character here? Looks like canned doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. Okay. So we play as her inner thoughts or like maybe it's the medicine. Okay. Write down your name. Canned is already taken, so what about... <laughs> Spit. <laughs> I hope you can do it better than canned. Uh, because all the, all the positive dialogue options led to a bad end. How do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You're so stupid. Okay, well. <laughs> See, I don't know really where the branch lies, I guess. So I'm going to try your pathetic. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? I want you to die. Even more than mom, though she doesn't even see you as a living creature. To her, you're just a note of dust that flies around the room aimlessly. Or what are you talking about? Huh. Let's try this one. Nothing. 
They hate you. What about you are pathetic? Oh, wait. It takes me back to this. What about- what if I try it? I will pretend that I didn't hear that. They hate you? Why? You're stupid and worthless. You're not even capable of going to the store to get milk. I hope mom throws you out the window, though. Even in flight, you'll th you'll think it's just for a fun ride. Ah, uh, okay. All right. I just uh, I just realized that there was a, a save a save thing about the mile long chocolate bar or ice cream bar thing. Uh, what if we respond like this? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. We'll save here. Because this is, I think, where I deferred the first time. Or I think I chose the world as a cruel and dangerous place the first time. Haha. -ha. You just had to say it, didn't you? Maybe? No. I think I stopped here the first time. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. I'm in a hurry. Yeah. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? So we're gonna choose this one now. So I just need to know when to stay quiet, I guess. You know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. If you say so. It could hurt your recovery. Oh, I feel like I need to save every single time. Okay, so we'll, we'll start here next time, if you say so. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought, a thought block. Out of the corner of my eyes, I notice a small bench, the perfect place for a, a cliched visual novel monologue. I move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. Listen. I'm a little embarrassed, haha. I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm, ta what I'm talking about? What if I say yes? Please capitalize it. You're ruining the narrative. Oh. <laughs> yes. Really? I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? I have no idea, to be honest. Oh, to be honest, I haven't read many, many visual novels. Sometimes, I regret it. Because now it just cost me a lot of effort to do... Just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not... Name my diagnosis. I've got several theories on it, but... Um, I can't really settle on one. Let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. Even though I made you up, don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. What is it like to see the world through my eyes? Honestly, I can't make out what most things are. Um, and that kind of makes me think about dementia and seeing how, um, it seems to be getting worse, and dementia doesn't really have a cure at all. Um, that's where my first thought lies. Ever since something happened, all I see is red. Red blood everywhere. So, that one doesn't sound familiar to me. I don't know about it now. <laughs> I thought this was all supposed to be represented, representational, but... And it may still be. I just, uh, I'm not a very outside-the-box thinker, so I'll have to watch a YouTube summary. <laughs> no, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, 
I'd even forgotten what the other colors looked like. Come on. Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? Well, to me it seems like they're just like regular people doing, you know, going about their day to day. So... You guys just see each other differently. In, in the most extreme case possible in this, in this case. <laughs> By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Yes. Really? Of course you couldn't help but ask. Wait. Did I... I, I, was, I was supposed to type something there, I believe, right? In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have... I would have brought it up. So you're really just... You're really that interested in what happened to me? I mean, very much so, yeah. I won't waste time. What do you see? I see a save point in my future. Okay, what do I see? I do see a face. This, like, kind of looks like a head turned sideways, like... The cursor is the same fleshy color as the thing I'm trying to outline here, so it doesn't help. Um, a body. That's the first thing I see. It's a body. Anyway, this is my dad. Some of his parts, at least. Oh. Was I right? <laughs> Was it a dead person? I think this might be his head. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I never would have thought. Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out the window and died. This is my last memory, then a long gap. Wow. Strange, very strange. Today is the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me. However, I think it's more your merit. I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader. Oh my god. What will he think? I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but it clearly paid off. Yeah, it did. Thank you. By the way, it seems that we... Oh, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. Yeah, the the character limit in the text box. <laughs> That's how I like it, haha. <laughs> okay, yeah, it makes sense. And yet, I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about the way my life has become. Ever since my dad. Well, you know. Day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications and I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help me... Help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. But you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. There's so much I want to tell. That was very rude of you. Oh. Okay. Oh no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? Spooky, man. I, I don't like when text boxes uh, get interrupted. <laughs> it's actually unsettling. When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing. So, yeah, this looks like it's trying to portray depth. I can kind of see that now. And this is like the side of a building. Yeah. Repeating this action every day, like a ritual. I stopped being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head. Mixing with the sounds of the world around me, they create a terrible dissonance in my head. So, I'm, I don't know if it's dementia anymore. Um, this seems more trauma-related, maybe? I turn around to go to my apartment.
Oh. Uh. Hi. Did you bring the milk, perhaps? Okay. I hope that's not my mom. <laughs> if that was my mom, I would not want to live there. Oh, no. Hi, Mom. Mom, are you gonna hurt me? Did you bring them? Oh, no. Did we forget the milk somewhere? Yes, Mom. Did your new medic... Did your new medicine help? Go to bed. Yes, Mom. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> Milk bought. This turned out to be really not at all what I expected it to be, but very mysterious. I don't. I, I'm. I'm still not sure. Um, on my own volition or on my own judgment of what this person's condition might be. But the way she seems to see the world scares the shit out of me. And that was the game where we get to go out and buy milk. But yeah, a uh, really good game. Really cool story. Um, I, I'm pretty confused on a lot of it, but I enjoyed everything about it, to be honest. Uh, the music, the art style, the narrative. Um, I don't do a lot of visual novels but I feel like there's a ton of really good ones out there, and this is one of them. I can't wait to play the uh, sequel, because I, I bought it like months and months ago, uh, but I never got around to playing this one first, so I'm, I'm probably going to do that in the near future sometime. But anyway, have a wonderful day.